The Data Scout 10G is a multi-service test set that tests your legacy DS0 2 and 4 wire TIMS, 56 and 64 kilobit DDS 4 wire, Datacom RS232 V.35 balanced and unbalanced uh, RS530, your T1s, your E1s DS3, optical C37.94, primary rate ISDN, and copper Ethernet 10100-1000, and fiber 100 meg, 1 gig, and 10 gig services. This video I will show our easy to use four wire TIMS interface. Our TIMS interface you want to read as you would a book left to right. So it will quickly tell you it's configured for four wire TIMS mode. The impedance is 600 ohms. To change the impedance simply click on the impedance of 600 ohms and you have a 900 ohm selection, 1200 ohm, 100 ohm wideband, 135 ohm wideband, and then high impedance bridge mode. For this demonstration, I'm going to leave it in 600 ohm, which is the default. To the right of your impedance is your speaker. You can unmute your speaker and you will hear the receive frequency and you can adjust the volume by pressing on the speaker button. The Data Scout supports dropouts, gain hits, and phase hit. Now, a uh, dropout is when the fundamental frequency changes by 12 dB or more. A gain hit is when the frequency changes by 4 dB or more is the default. And a phase hit is when the phase starts to change by, a degree, uh, by 5 uh, percent degree. To transmit a tone, it's as simple as picking a quick tone. Now here are all your telecom frequencies. In this demonstration, I select 1004, so the test set is transmitting 1004 hertz right now. I'll go ahead and press OK, so we can see the receive frequency is 1004, because I have looped a hard loop transmit to receive. The display is negative 0 0.3, negative 0 0.4. To zero that out, I can press the zero on button and that'll zero any amplitude to a zero dB. And go ahead and toggle that off and it'll go back to the true reading. Now notice my TX, it says I'm transmitting at 1004 at a zero amplitude. To change that, you click on the amplitude and I'll go ahead and send a 3 dBm level. So notice my receive now changes. I can also increment that level by hitting the up arrow or if I want to decrement, I would hit the down arrow. And in this case, I'm sending a neg three. If I want to change my transmit frequency, I could use quick tones, or I can hit the up arrow to change my transmit frequency by 100 hertz, or the down arrow. If I wanted to change the step size, I would hit the 100 hertz and I could change it within one hertz. Now below our transmit frequency, we have a sweep function. And what a sweep function will do is it'll start at 404 hertz and these are editable. You could start at whatever frequency and stop at whatever frequency you desire. But in this case, it'll start at 404 and go to 3204 in 100 hertz increment. So if I hit the sweep, it'll go 404, 504, all the way up to 3204, and then cycle back around to your 404. 
To shut off the frequency, you hit quiet term, which then zeroes out your transmit. Again, the quick tone is the easiest way to transmit defined telecom frequencies. So I can quickly send a 404 hertz tone, and I see that 404 hertz coming back. So we have tone one and two buttons that if a frequency is not in this quick tone table, you can easily enter it by pressing tone one and enter a specific frequency within a hertz. In this demonstration, I am entering 1,234 hertz. So now we are receiving 1,234 hertz. So I can quickly go back and forth between tones one and two, entering unique frequencies. To the right of tone one and two, we have user tones. Press user tones, and these are frequencies at specific levels that you can define. Now these frequencies and levels, when you power cycle the unit, it will always be these frequencies at these specific levels. But to transmit, it's as simple as you hit the TX send, and now it's transmitting 1004 at a neg 9 dB. So to transmit and receive DTMF, MF, or selective signaling digits in a four-wire dry loop mode, simply select four-wire TIMS and then four-wire signaling at the bottom menu. So now the test set will read, he's in four-wire signaling, 600 ohm. From here, you can emulate a PBX or a central office, but if you're just receiving digits, leaving it in PBX mode is fine. From here, you're either going to receive or dial a number. To enter a number, tap on the phone number, enter the digits, and then press dial. So the test set will then go ahead and dial the entered number. Right now, it's defaulted for dual tone multi-frequency, which is DTMF. If you want to change to multi-frequency, you press the DTMF, or we support dial pulse, e &M, or SS, which is selective signaling. The transmit and receive frequencies is the same in a four-wire signaling as it was with four-wire TIMS. So here I'll send a thousand four. Now if we are receiving digits, it'll be displayed in the bottom are received digits, whether it's DTMF, MF, or selective signaling. The Data Scout can also test your two wire circuits. Simply press the four wire button, select two wire signaling. Here you'll see that the test set is configured for two wire signaling mode, 900 ohm impedance. It'll emulate a station or a central office. I'll go ahead and select CO. We support signaling types loop start, ground start, DID immediate, DID wink, and ENM services. From here, you're going to go off hook or on hook. If I go off hook, we will actually ring a phone at the far end. It is a two-wire service, so you're either going to receive or transmit a tone. To transmit a tone, you hit the transmit tone, quick tones, 
select your frequency. I'll go ahead and mute the tone. You can also, will also display the DTMF digits in the bottom left along with your tip ring voltage and current. This concludes the Signaling Tim's tutorial.